Well, Ivan always does his own casting. We've never worked with a casting director. He, he chooses the cast, and that's largely been because he's had to, because of the films in the past, and again, Tumla, his most recent film, they're non-actors in the film or first-time actors. So you have to go and find those people. They're not someone you can get out of a casting book. On this one, because we had Aaron Peterson cast, and he does a lot of workshops with young actors and been an actor for such a long time, he got involved with Ivan, and they together set out to cast the young Aboriginal kids in the film and the teens in the film, the girls in the film, and those were clearly going to be uh, actors that we found who hadn't acted before, and that's the case. Tony, someone's here for you. What? I just want to ask you a few questions. About what? About Julie Mason. I've got nothing to say. Tony. He was able to then attract Hugo Weaving to the film, and I think on the basis that we had Aaron and we had Hugo, a lot of people then sort of, you know, picked up their ears and thought, what is this? Ivan Sen, he's, he had just recently won the Byron Kennedy Award. So there was a little bit of focus on him and Toomla had gone to Cannes. So I think people were interested in what he was doing next. And when the word got out that it was a, you know, there were roles there for people, it was a genre film, it was something unusual for him, it wasn't just a social film, I think, there was sort of an interest in what he was doing, and then I think once word got out that the script was good, there was a general sense of people wanting to come and support him.